Vorador's keep was hidden deep within the turbid forest, nestled among vines and creepers that clung desperately to its dark weathered stone. Now, Vorador's mansion is actually one of my favorite places. We're going to save real quick because it gets a little bit hairy in here. And then we'll head on through, but I love this place. That this vulgar display of fortune remained undisturbed was a testament of fear's dominion over greed. Well, they just check out how awesome this mansion looks. I love this place. <laughs> I'm glad it's so different from the rest of the game because there's so much time spent in caves and ugly places like that that you forget how cool this place can actually look when they put work in it. Too bad more places don't look like this. Their charms were almost visible through the gauze of their clothing, yet beauty such as theirs delivered only death. For these were Vorador's pets, nothing more than beasts, slave to his will and the easy prey he provided. Vampires, all of them, held in thrall by one stronger still. There's a fun way to kill them. Just steal their mine and run them straight into some spikes. Well, here I totally miss that guy at the bottom. And I just keep on walking, doing my thing. Then I'm too busy trying to put on the lights to notice that someone's attacking me and... ...start trying to take care of her. And that guy pretty much almost kills me. That's what I get for not having the lights on earlier. Then I do something dumb. Because, yeah, look at all that. What the hell is up with this video this week? It basically consists of me wasting Hearts of Darkness. No, you're gonna help me. Vorador's Pantry. A vampire's feast. Like cattle awaiting slaughter, men and women dangled from the rusted hooks upon the dungeon walls. Blood and viscera frosted the dirt and stone. The abundance nearly overwhelmed me. For blood is the life. Sure is. Anyways, here we have another pesky enemy. I don't really know what to call her. She looks kind of like a shaman or something. But she's just a little bit of a pain in the ass because she keeps teleporting around, but occasionally you can just trap her like that. My enemies are quite vicious, and the Chaos Armor extracts from them a heavy price for their bloodlust. The blows are meant for me, but it is their bodies that carry the wounds. So here's another armor in the Kane games. Uh, you can kind of see how these things don't really... Chaos Armor just add defense or anything. Instead, it kind of gives you an effect which does something. For example, this one will split the damage between you and your, your enemy. Pretty useful, um, but of course they're not going to just make you take less damage because it's stupid. Or something. But I'm glad Kane looks pretty snazzy again. We got that mouth on our stomach, that's pretty sweet. Also sad to find out you can't mind control those mages. So instead we'll just have to murder them left and right. Sweet. Ooh, that was a good one. Haha. -ha. We'll take care of these guys real quick. That should be... what the hell? Apparently an enemy is stuck in that wall. Thankfully these flays will seek him out. Because otherwise that could, could have been just stupid. Now this is an awesome benefit of the flame sword. See how these... Those fonts of putrescence barely do anything. They don't even splatter on the ground for those guys. But the flame sword takes them out in one hit. Very, very useful. Yeah. 
four hits. That's just mean. And screw that guy, I don't even care. Another hit of these flame sword and poof, they're gone. Awesome. Especially considering how much of a pain in the butt those stupid things can be. It's really great to have a weapon that just gets rid of them. Alright. Sweet, first try. And the switch has been flipped, so... You can actually just pop out at any time. Leave her out on the balcony. Nah, she actually dies. See, she's gone. She wasn't real, just a figment of our imagination. Haha. <laughs> That's dumb. But it's true. Okay, let's see if we can get this stupid shadow thingy to head over here. There we go. And one less mage in the world. God, I love a fire sword. I hate how hard items are to pick up. I know it's always been like that, but come on, there's so little ground to work with there. It's kind of terrible. I'm running low on all sorts of items, so I'm gonna use up some fonts here. By the way, I apologize about the music skipping so much, I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, it's due to the fact that I'm cutting out so many load times, but to be honest, even if we were playing normally, the music would be stopping exactly as much. Unfortunately, it's a side effect of having to switch weapons, and you have to do it a lot. Oh, to bathe in the blood of others. This spell is especially useful in the face of multiple combatants. Beware those with tainted blood. This spell's pretty awesome, it just straight up gives you the blood of everyone in the room. Like he says, if you have any sort of guys with tainted blood, like skeletons or slimes, well don't use it. The room I had entered had but one purpose. The torture and execution of human beings for the sadistic pleasure of its engineer. Blood was splattered on every surface. The dread and agony of victims past still echoed through the lethal walls. A symphony of terror and agony filled the air. Then, from amidst the cacophony of screaming souls came the perverse laughter of the vampire himself. Well, let's go meet her. It's not our maker. It's just some douchebag in a chair. But we'll go meet him anyways. So these guys are pretty interesting. They kind of shuffle around like mummies and then become a little bit more clear when you get close. Amongst Vorador's possessions, I found an ancient chronicle. Long ago, vampires grew in such number so as to capture the attention of the circle. The Order of the Saraphan, or the Angels of Light as they were called, was instated to counter the menace. Thus, the Vampire Purge began. So here's another situation you can't quite get by without using mind control, and... Oh, this is what I hate. The center one is always used by the most recent spell you gain, so... Right there I had to just cut the video because... I had to actually go through and completely rearrange my spell. By the way, you also notice that when you're using a mind control form, you do have access to their attacks. I didn't know that until basically just now. That's really helpful to clear out rooms and stupid crap like that. Okay, door's unlocked. And I think that's pretty much all we have need. Uh, let's see if there's anything we have here real quick. No, it looks pretty solid. Okay, we're done here. Say goodbye to Mr. Mans. There we go. crazy 
my me ladies and shoots fire and get close. Almost looks like the chick from the ring. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to tell what the hell anything is from this zoomed out angle and screw zooming in, it just sucks. 